in today's video, I'm going to show you how the full self-driving capabilities on your Model Y. First, I'm going to show you how easy it will be to install. And after that, we're going to take it out on the road to test out some of the new features that were downloaded here on my Model Y. With FSD, your car should be able now to navigate on autopilot, auto lane change, summon the car, auto park, traffic light and stop sign control, and also making your driving so much more enjoyable as before in your Tesla because it only gets sweeter from this point. You do have a subscription plan for this. And some of the benefits with the subscription package is it's pretty much pay as you go. So you don't have to worry about if you're selling the car that you're going to lose these features as if you would pay the 15 grand and if you sell your car that package then will move along with the car there are no trials available with fsd once you pay for it this not prorated so you can't get it for a day and say hey i just want to pay 23 dollars that you will be charged for the duration of your billing cycle so that's a little background about fsd in today's video like i said we're just going to install it and look at some of the features so let's go on and get right to it so the first thing that we want to do to install FSD is click over here on the car icon. That's pretty much your main menu. And from here, you want to go all the way down where it says upgrades and click on upgrades. And as you can see right here, it's already available. In order for you to purchase this, all you do is take your finger here and we're just going to stroll it right over. And now it's saying purchase successful. Your car will reboot whenever in part. Now, from there, it says your autopilot package has been upgraded and able. So now the car is resetting. It says your autopilot package has been upgraded. Enable your new features in the autopilot setting. So, okay, so I'm going to click on OK. And from there, I'm going to zoom out so y'all don't see my exact location. And from there, we're going to go back into where it says autopilot and now there are already new features here that's available and we are going to cut on the summon okay and pretty much it you read through all of that and the uh, traffic controller and also navigate a beta i'm going to turn on everything here all right so now we're here at a open parking lot and we're going to test out the auto part feature so in order for you to do that look going to pan to the screen here uh, we are going to stop the car, put the car in reverse. We are going to see where it is, and I'm going to press there. I guess that doesn't really do anything, so you probably don't have to press there. And go on and click on Start, and let's see what the car is going to do. So the car is putting on the blinker, and after this, we're going to get out of the car to see how well the car gets into this parking spot. So the wheel is straightening up as you can see and let's see. So as you can see here, it's inside the line and it pretty looks great. Let's come on this side and let's check this side and you can see it pretty much looks great. All right, so the next feature that we're gonna test out today is the auto summon feature. Here in your app now, I have something that says summon. You can see here on the app that you have forward, backwards, and also is waiting for vehicle accuracy. Okay, so it only took a few seconds here, then go to target, but on my settings, I did press that I would have to hold it down in order for the car to stay on. So if I let up my finger, it's not going to work. So look, the car is coming right for us. And that's exactly where we parked it. And the car is doing a lot of crazy maneuvering there. Um, okay, that's where the target was set. All right, so as you can see with the summon feature, it was able to go to the target. Now navigating on autopilot is a breeze. So as you can see there on the bottom side of the GPS is a blue box. If you press that one time, you see now the lines went out like if you are in a regular autopilot, that's like advanced autopilot right there. But if you go on and press it again, so let's go on and press it, you see that Two lines went down to one line. That's saying now you are in full FSD. Now we are going to 
test out the auto lane change. So I'm gonna put on my Sentinel here and you see on the next lane over, it's a white box, that's where the car will go. And the car will not do so until it's safe. You see that car pass? Now the car is getting over by itself. So it did execute that perfectly. So let's just try one more time. I'm gonna put on my Sentinel here and let's get over and you can see again, the car executed that perfectly. So it works. Now we're coming up to our exit, and as you can see, the car automatically put on this turn signal, and it is getting over all by itself. I'm just being attentive behind the wheel here, and the car is reducing speed. So let me know real quick in the comment section, do you feel that this would be worth it, especially on those long trips? So we are coming up, the car is accelerating just a little bit, but now you see stopping for traffic control in 400, 300, 200, 100 feet there. So now we're stopping at the light automatically. They're gonna stop light. So we're here at the parking lot. So those are some of the features that were updated on the car. Tell me what do you think in the comment section below? And I will do more videos based off of the FSD package. So make sure you subscribe for more content and check out the videos over there related to your Tesla and your finances. And I will see you in the next video.